Hello everybody. Dave here for another Dave Gets Wood and I'm doing something a little bit different today. As you can see, I'm leaning on a pile of wood. Um, I can't do anything on the workbench at the moment. Uh, because typically it's actually being used um, as a bit of a table at the moment, so I can't touch it. There's nothing I can do with it at the moment. Um, I could have made a start on my own round table, but I've decided not to yet. And the reason for that is I've been doing a bit of uh, 2020 cleaning at home. Um, and something that I've been wanting since I made a cabinet for myself. Uh, it wasn't really a cabinet, it was just a, it was a worktop basically. But um, I used it as a, a TV stand. Um, but ever since I made that, the intention was to have, um, I was actually hoping to get some Ikea roadblocks, I think they're called, or something like that. Basically the big cubes. Um, or big square shelves um, to, to put on what I'd made um, but I can't afford them um, and I, like I said I've been doing a bit of 2020 cleaning recently and figured you know what before I start putting stuff back on that unit I'm going to attempt to make myself a set of shelves and I'm gonna do it all from effectively scrap wood this wood um, all of the wood here is wood that was given to us by my brother Stephen it's what I was going to be using some of the timber studding on the workbench but to be honest hardly ended up needing much of it um, so this all of this wood was once um, a triple bunk bed um, for my nieces and I'm now going to try and turn it into a set of shelves but I don't want it to just look like a cheap like a cheaply made set of shelves so I'm actually going to try and do it a little bit properly um, although I think I'm going to have to get rid of some fucking unicorns and some smiley faces but to be fair I've got a dis design in mind oh, my back is coming. I've got a design in mind that I've come up with um, and I'm, I'm going for my design because I will find out if what I think I can do I can actually do and even if I can do it I'll then find out if it'll actually work um, but also it'll give me the opportunity to do a, a bit of work on different uh, pieces of wood um, because these are rounded edges they're not square edges I can't necessarily put the whole thing together and then sort of sand it and do whatever I want to do with it so what I'm actually going to need to do is basically put it together to make sure that the concept works. Once I've put it together, I then need to take it apart, sand all of the wood down, and then varnish all of the wood. And this is where, as well, I'm thinking it's gonna give me the opportunity to um, do a gloss finish on this set of shelves. Um, put a gloss stain on it and a gloss varnish on it to try and make it look nice that's the plan could take a bit of time I'm hoping that by the end of today because I've already measured and cut the wood I'm hoping that it is literally going to be a case of screwing stuff together to be honest I've got one more piece of wood to cut but just to sort of show what, what I'm going to try and do here basically I've got a big stack of cut to size um, stud timber and basically what these are going to do is these are going to be either end of a shelf um, so I'm just gonna... a couple of 
pieces of the same size timber. Okay, so these are going to be the end of some shelves. I just realised I'm going to need some of this wood here. Okay. Right. So they're going to be the end of the shelves, and then I've got these longer, longer timbers, which three of them screwed to, oh, well not screwed together, but three of them screwed onto the timber studding. Making a bit of a mess of myself here. But three of these screwed on there will make a shelf. So I'll effectively have these like that but I haven't got enough of these long timbers to do all of the shelves so what I've had to do is get some smaller pieces that I am have cut to half the size of the bigger pieces and then what I'm going to be doing is with more of the timber stud in is have these in the middle so I'm effectively going to make myself uh, I think it's four or five, I think it's four shelves like this, um, which are going to create the base, the shelves, but not the top, because the top is where the last piece of wood comes in that I mentioned that I need to cut, uh, excuse me, over here, which is one big piece. Now this big piece isn't actually wide enough or deep enough. It's not as deep as the, the stud in all as three of these. So it's not as deep as the shelf. But I'm going to put that on the top and then the wood's in the other room. Um, I'm basically going to put a lip on the back of it like that and that will give it its full depth. So what I've got here is I put this lock back in its order. I'm missing a piece. Where's that gone? I'll find it in a minute. Uh, right, so as I was mentioning, I have got all of these pre-cut so I need to screw these onto these I then I'm going to be um, screwing see, yeah these are the longer ones long ones of these onto the back excuse me and the front and that is effectively going to make my sides and then the shelves can be screwed in all the way up in between these. So the concept is, I think, quite a simple one. Potentially a bit overkill, but hopefully, hopefully should make it very sturdy, but it is gonna make it heavy. But this is where um, take it, putting it together, then taking it apart comes in. Because I can take it apart, clean it all up, varnish it all up, and then I can put the shelves together, but not the rest of it. I can then take it to mine in pieces and just screw it together there. Um, which will make it, hopefully, a hell of a lot easier to deal with. Now, it is going to end up being, what is it, uh, it's 146 centimetres across, so that is that the long ones are actually going across the bottom, um, and 120 tall, with, including bottom and top shelf, five shelves. So that is what I'm intending on doing, so what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to stop the recording 
and I'm actually going to try and at least screw all of the shelving bits together. Okay. Ready to try and do a little bit of drilling and screwing. as long as the wood's not in the way. But it is a lot. Cock. I may have to reevaluate this in a moment. Because it's not quite going yeah, to plan. What a bastard. What a wee bastard. Okay, um, had a little bit of an issue. Um, managed to get these uh, screwed in, but then realized, looking at the timber piece on the end, which uh, is going to be having one of these attached to it, I realized that my positioning of the screws on here wasn't very good because through here I'm going to need to put at least two screws put two screws that means a bit of a gap between the two of them um, so yeah sort of like one here and one over here but that means that the one here may hit this screw so what I'm actually going to do is move the screws over a little bit so that the screws in here will go either side of any screw that goes down into there. Oh, Jesus. So, I have literally just drilled the new holes and given them a little bit of a countersink. And one of the reasons I've done the countersinking now is that will let me know exactly which bit is a top. Um, because as I'm going through this, I am going to be selecting, obviously, which part of the shelves are going to be tops. Now, admittedly, yes, this little error does mean that I'm now going to have, what, six screw holes that I didn't have before. But, to be fair, there are screw holes all over the place that I'm going to have to sort out anyway. So these extra ones not really a problem also i hadn't countersunk them so hopefully filling them will be much less of an issue but we'll wait and see now one of the issues that i did just have with the clamps i'll point this out actually is sometimes these clamps are expensive and sometimes they're cheap and one of the reasons sometimes they're cheap is because these move and it might be difficult to see but it's actually it's got a curve on it so this is actually more for um well gripping something that's got a bit of a curve on it and it moves but that means if you're working like i was on a little tight area and you may have a little bit of angle on it you'd think that it'll help but actually it doesn't, it just bends over more and more and doesn't really grip it. So what I'm going to end up doing now is pretty much eyeballing, uh, eyeballing lining everything up on the shelves. Which is a bit awkward considering it's a little longer than this workbench. 
But what I might actually do is, excuse me, I haven't quite decided whether I am going to do it yet. With these drawers, um, not drawers, with these shelves, it could be possible that I um, sand them down and varnish them in situ like this. Problem though is, as I mentioned before, the curvature on some of the timber here and getting the varnish in there and getting it all nice and tidy will be a lot harder to do. Now, whether I take the initiative in a moment to once these are actually fitted together to turn it over and for example put one of my scrap pieces underneath um, and to just hold it all together to sand it I don't know I, it, it, I feel like it's trying to cut corners but actually making more work for myself I am actually thinking it might be so much easier just to varnish everything um, in individual pieces rather than trying to do the whole thing right let's see if we can I'm gonna get myself another oh, sorry for that. yeah because it's slightly longer than the workbench <coughs> I need to pack it now one of the things I could do, I suppose I could do it, I was going to say I won't, one of the things that I could do is put the middle piece in, I was going to wait, but I might not bother waiting, we'll see. Alright, let's see if we can if we get everything to hand. Now, this is where I should clamp this, but I'm going to wing it. So that is pretty much one shelf done. Now the counter sinking, I'm not too worried at the moment if it's not quite deep enough because when I take everything apart I can uh, counter sink in a tiny bit more but also clean everything up. So there we pretty much have one shelf, um, which what does this feel? Which hopefully will end up looking really nice. So just another four of these to do. Now I'm not going to make you sit through and watch me doing that, 
Um, I've spared you that. Um, but I will come back on in a moment when uh, we'll find the done. Right, update time. As you can see, I've got a few shelves made. And yes, there is only four, not five. If this cord breaks now, I'll be pissed. Um, I've hit a couple of snags. <laughs> One is, uh, screws I've been using is 3.5 by 40 mil. Run out of them after about two and a half shelves. <clears throat> Got no more three and a half by 40s. Um, so I've ended up having to use for the moment now to be fair if this was going to be the finished product now I wouldn't have done this but because I'm going to be taking these apart anyway I've got time um, but I've ended up using three and a half by 30 screws but it does mean on a couple of these there is literally it is only just holding it together um, I could have gone wider and same length but then I've got different hole sizes, different screw sizes, and I'd either need to redo all of the screws in a larger size, it's not worth it. Whereas with three and a half by 30, I drill the same length as I have been doing, but the screw doesn't fill the hole in length. It means that I can get the right screws and some extras, because obviously they're the screws we're using a lot of. Uh, and then replace them. Now the, the screws I've used, the shorter ones, visibly they look smaller but also visibly they're very different as well. The thread on them is very different so when it comes to replacing them it shouldn't be a problem. Um, I've got to the point now where I was literally uh, just about measuring up uh, this piece which is going to be the very top and then I discovered something which uh, concerned me a little bit, which was I think I may have made a colossal error in my mathematics. Um, right, I have two different lengths of timber. I've got one thirty, which is this, and I've got one twenty. One twenty is the uprights. One thirty is um, it's going to be the horizontals but what I had done is I had taken 146 centimeters and then taken off the width of this the uh, stood in in here on each side which gave me 130 or whatever this is for some reason that's what I've done but it means that the only way that this fits on here isn't from stud to stud it won't reach it's 16 centimeters too short it's too short um, it would fit in but, ooh, I lost the drill, but I've got the middle studs so I was just trying to get my head around how I fucked that up but then I came to a realisation, which is, I might not need the 130s. We'll find out. The 120s are the uprights. So that'd be over there. Now, what I could do is, once the upright is fitted, I could, fit this and then have the other upright here and then it would all fit to size but what I'm finding I might um, what might happen is that I don't need these and the uprights will make this sturdy enough if it doesn't then I will need these okay so, in a moment, I'm going to start 
trying to attach the uprights to uh, to the shelves but what I'm going to need to do is this top piece I'm going to need to to cut this to size um, so I need to work out if I'm going to give it an overhang or not and to be honest I'm actually thinking uh, it's on the ends by the way the overhang I'm actually thinking not reason being if I give it an overhang then I need to measure up and make sure that it's on the top at the right point not that difficult really but if I just cut it to the right size 146 centimeters then it will be exactly the same width as the rest of the unit um, which is what I'm thinking I might do um, it also means that what I can do is on this top piece on either end there's quite a few holes I think there's what six holes drill holes there there's four on this end so what it means is I can actually come in a little bit from each end and give myself a nice clean cut um, to be honest it's what I did with quite a, a bit of the studding um, and even the shelving pieces uh, took a bit off each end to get a nice clean cut because I think Steve would cut it with either a a jigsaw or a table saw um, so I don't think it was well some of the cuts weren't clean um, which is easily done if I tried cutting with a jigsaw it ain't clean um, so yeah so that's what I'm going to be trying to do next now one advantage of this next stage is that I won't be needing the three and a half by 40 mil screws I'll be needing much bigger screws hopefully these will do um, I might need some even bigger ones because these are going to need to be able to go through I uh, need to be able to go through this timber and then into the next timber a bit now that would give me about a centimeter and a half two centimeters um, if I remember rightly seeing something a rule of thumb should be um whatever piece of wood you're screwing into next should be the screw should be going at least halfway through the piece of wood that you've gone through if that makes any sense which is about right and i can counter sink it a little bit if i want get an extra bit of depth but i'm not overly worried about that at the moment um so yeah so making making a bit of progress um Although it is now getting very cold uh, outside and it's starting to get cold in here, it's starting to get dark as well and my feet are starting to hurt. There is going to be um, quite a bit of work to do on this really um, but I am hoping that, um, let's see, I can get it to a point today where next time I can take it apart and sand it down. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get that done today. I would have liked to, but I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near that. Right, I am going to try and fit this together. And depending on my memory capacity on my phone, I might let you watch. We'll see. Okay, I guess we'll find out if this, this is going to work. I would highly doubt it. Uh, I've clamped this piece in. This piece is basically it's the same piece as the timbers I've got going in through the shelves. And now I've clamped it at the bottom as well, but obviously I need to drill the bottom. So what I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do now, uh, or in a moment, is that I'm going to be able to remove this clamp and just hope and pray that this doesn't move about too much. Um, and one of the things that I am going to need to do is change my drill bit because I've got on to much bigger screws now. I can't believe that I ran out of bloody screws though. That just didn't occur to me at all. 
So these screws are about four and a half. I haven't measured them or checked them to be honest. <coughs> oh dear. Now I probably should have checked them, but uh, I know we've got plenty more of these particular screws uh, or longer ones if necessary. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to take this off and we'll be alright. Actually, I'll, I'm going to try something here. In, if it doesn't work, I'm going to put this piece in down here. Well, I suppose. Okay, so that is kind of holding position at the moment, but if I do this, if I can get it in there, then it should at least also be clamping. Hang on, hey, what a dickhead. I don't need to put that in there, do I? Position that. Position that. Because that is going to clump through the pieces of wood. You know, Dave, on your star. Right, let's watch it all fall over then, shall we? will notice that I've got three drills here. They're not mine, only one of them is. But if there's something I've learned from my old man, is that it saves a lot of fucking time. Oh. Ow. Having one drill to screw, sorry, one drill to drill, one drill to screw, another drill to counter sink. Without that, you're spending all your fucking time changing bits. I'm surprised that, that, that this has worked like that. Shit. I can't actually get to the other side. Oh, bollocks. I'm going to have to move some shit just to get to the other side. Back in a minute. Right, time for the other leg. See how we get on here. The screw bit. I must admit, I'd be amazed if this actually comes out looking half decent. It won't look half decent until it's uh, uh, until it's been varnished up and everything. I 
wouldn't normally drill left-handed. Sometimes you just have to do it. Bit like a Robocop. something I might be able to do I mentioned that with the longer timbers that go in in there I've got I've put a piece on this side just to help with the spacing it actually doesn't look too bad I'm actually thinking for aesthetics it might be worth doing I wouldn't necessarily need to do it on the back but if I did well I was gonna put a lip on the back of each shelf anyway um, which would be harder to do if I put the timber piece uh, well to be honest I, had, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to cover the whole of the back or if I'm just going to put lips on the back edges I've got the wood to do the lips. Um, I think it'll be a case of I need to wait until uh, the whole thing is together to see how uh, rigid or not it is. Um, okay, what I'm going to need to do with this now is. I'm going to need to measure up and mark out where the other shelves go um, and I need to try and get them level um, but as long as my measurements are right that shouldn't be a problem we'll see um, I was thinking if I could get well I need to measure them up anyway once I've measured up where the the shelves can go then I can work out which way around I'm going to try attaching them anyway I'm going to take a break for a little while um, and yeah do my measuring up and I'll be back in a bit got shelf in okay maybe not uh, I mentioned a moment ago about when I put them in, I'm going to need to make sure the level, what I've ended up doing is working out what the gap is between that and the bottom of this. Then cutting a piece of wood that size and using it as a packer. I've got four of them, one on each post. And now I can position everything, get it lined up. That's ready to be drilled and screwed. Once that's drilled and screwed, I'm going to be able to take those packing pieces, hopefully, and put them here for the next shelf and so on. At least that's the idea. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But I have, just from looking, I do feel that the shelves are going to need support. Now, I was going to put a piece of strut up the back anyway. That may be enough, but I don't know, maybe for aesthetics or perhaps putting the timber across the front. Um, I might be able to show it on that side. If the timber was in there like so, if that was the front, then it would look make it look quite neat and tidy really, uh, while strengthening it up. I mean, I may be able to, hmm, well, let's see if I was going to, yeah, I mean, if these were going to be on the front, I think I'd want them at the same level. Um, 
rather than having a lip. If they were at the back, then yeah, they'd have a lip. But because the studding's there, I think the front needs something on the front. But well, we'll come to that when we get to it. Uh, now, what I did just notice then actually, if we get that back, was, is what I also will be able to do is this. I could position oh, two of these tin balls and make sure that we are nice and snug, which we are. You know what, I'm quite pleased with that, so I am going to try and fit that. Uh, gonna want that, gonna want that, gonna want that, and I'm also gonna want those. Uh, okay, so I need to remember to be outside and inside to miss the screws from earlier. my friend at least get these next two holes done and then we can sub you out So, you get the idea anyway. Well, I'm going to screw these all together and I'm going to put the next lot of shelves in and then hopefully, um, before all my memory runs out, I'll be able to show you what it looks like when I've finished today. Okay, I have done as much as I can do because I'm now out of the bigger screws as well. For books here, because I, I, I'm going to need to pick up some screws. But I'm going to show you how far I have got up to uh, at the moment. Okay, so there it is, in almost all its glory. Uh, I haven't been able to fit these studs on the front yet. I've just put them there so I remember that that's what they're for. Um, and you may notice that there's a bigger gap between now the shelves and no shelves. Uh, I'd love to say it was on purpose, but to be honest, I think I fucked up my calculations when making that timber packing piece.